Hello people of the earth and welcome to Quicksave TV. Today we're gonna begin the playthrough of the Legend of Grimrock, which I hope will be enjoyful, jo like enjoyable for you to watch. Yes, this is my English. <laughs> and welcome to Weird English TV. Now let's start a new game, select the normal dungeon, normal difficulty level, create the characters and no, no, thank you, I would like to have them up. Okay, you will be, you will be Mike. This will be me. I will be a rogue character and I will have... I will be a dexterous son of a bitch. That is it. Okay, good. So, we would like to have a high skill in daggers. I'm trying to reposition the posi uh, the uh, placement of my microphone, the monitor and etc. And right now it's in a really, really un uncomfortable position. I'll have to change it probably. Okay, traits. We'll take hmm, aggressive. I like this one a lot. And evasive. Evasion plus seven, and from aggressive attack power, power plus four, so that we will stay on the uh, on the front line, and try to deal damage. The second character will be a Minotaur. Minotaur will take. You know what? We'll take you. You will be. You'll die. You'll die. No, I'll. Mm, you die. You'll die. Enough. <laughs> That's enough of you. <clears throat> You're going to be a fighter, and we'll have we'll have your vitality pumped up. Everything else does not really matter, and get you experienced, proficient in armors. Very good. You're going to be our tank. We have headhunter for Minotaur, specific skill which gives attack power plus three for each skull carried, which we're going to try to search and find all of them whenever it is possible. Skilled, poison resistant, healthy. Fist fighter, what are you gonna be? You know, I, I think I'm gonna go with healthy. Healthy sounds good. Good. No! What was the name? I just cancelled the goddamn name. Good, Yulda. Yulda, new prisoner, going to be a lizard man. We'll take you. Muranal. Bauerzam. Izar. Okay, we're gonna be Izar. Izar. You'll be Izar. You'll be a rogue. Dexterity very high again. Give you some strength. Put you to missile weapons. Then traits. Okay, cold blood demon ancestor, athletic, aggressive, and agile. I assume that would be a nice solution. Nice selection. And the last will be an insectoid, which will be our spellcaster. You'll be our magician. Okay, willpower max. Some vitality, some strength. For no apparent reason. You will be focusing on. Hmm. Let's go something unusual. Let's go with air magic. I will probably regret it later on, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Okay, good. Traits. Uh, natural armor, insectoid, and strong mind. That sounds good. Okay, so we have all the characters. I think we're ready. Good. We're good to start the game. Mike, Yulda, Izar, and new prisoner. No, that's not good. Bilefo, Zarel. Zarel, that's what you're gonna be. Good stuff. Okay. Now I can actually copyright all the names of my characters and just enjoy, <laughs> enjoy this playthrough. That should be pretty much unique. Okay, except for the mic, it's very usual name. A towering spire looms above the clouds. A weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than histories of men have written, written down. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when trying, when things need to be discarded and forgotten. Press any key. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Okay, here we come. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treasonous deeds, but by the grace of the king, their crimes shall be forgotten, forgiven, atop Mount Grimrock. Let's go, let's go, it's fine. It, it's a strange forgiveness, you know, send me someone in a labyrinth. Might as well just kill them right away. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to life, to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them only darkness and, just and justice awaits. That's a pain in the ass. That's a very strange way to liberate someone. And it's not really a liberation. <laughs> As they are plunged down the open mall of the pig, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain. 
but will you be able to lead them through the dark and the to freedom that awaits them at the base of Mount Green Rock? Hope I will be. She's stuck on these goddamn puzzles. I hate these puzzles. Legend of Green Rock. It's a very stylish way to present the game. I like it. It's it's very well drawn and everything. It's it's just a high quality game. I totally recommend you play it. I made a review of it some days ago. While back first time playing Grimrock? No, certainly not. Let's grab the Scorch. Give it our guy to... What's the name? To Zarel. And get the secret door. Yeah, secret doors are good. Especially when you know where are what they are. Else it's not so much useful for you. Okay, good. We can go from here. Okay, what does it say here? Choose your fate. Perish in, perish in this cell or pick up the torch. We picked up the torch. Let's just continue. It's gonna be pretty rapid, rapid in the beginning. I remember pretty much all the things in the beginning of the game. I might as well go ahead and check them, but for the most part, I think I'm confident that I remember the stuff. Again, the game has sometimes just sometimes just I get stuck with the stupid puzzles and I cannot do anything with it. But it's just me. I'm bad with puzzles. But overall, it's a great experience. Very interesting game. Especially from the... I would love if they would just remove these stupid puzzles and just allow us to participate in combat and just explore the dungeon. I would just... I would be much more excited. But I guess puzzles add something to the game. I really don't know. I mean... I wouldn't be able to care about puzzles so much. Should check the walls just in case. Majority of the puzzles and um, secrets in game are essentially hidden in the walls it's small pushable buttons pressable pieces of rocks they're very easy to identify but only when you actually pay attention when you don't pay attention it's it's easy to miss them and it's just frustrating because often enough oftentimes you will get very powerful weapons and armor in the secret passages secret places and it would be really stupid from your side not to try to find them because they're very valuable and it's just it influences your gameplay loose rock like right here again picking up torches sometimes puzzles are connected with torches placing or taking off torches and etc sometimes pressure plates it's just they're different they most of the times are easy to comprehend to understand but sometimes i'm just getting stuck and i'm not even sure if i am supposed to do here something or it's not even the case. Sometimes it's visible, you know, I'll try it. Okay, here is the puzzle. Here's something I can do. But in some cases, it's just not even visible. Hard to understand. Still have no weaponry. Gonna try to kite the slime. Take that, you bastard. Okay, I used the wrong hand. Okay, keep following us. You bastard. Don't you wanna follow us? Okay, good. Good. Critical attack. Good, with a hand. Yes, that's right. We got the slime. Very good. We got some food also. A lot of food, actually. Where are the stones, I wonder? I guess they flew away. In the... oh, ah, okay, they stayed here. Okay. I, I absolutely forgot the way it works. The stones, they just... They are left where they are, wherever they hit the target. The other stuff, actually, is sticks on the target. For example, arrows, as you attack the enemy, they just keep... They connect to the enemy and stay on the enemy until you kill him. So, kill him or it, in this case, it, I guess. Because it's just, it's logical this way, but sometimes if the enemy falls through the crack in the floor, for instance, or a trap that was placed, it's not, you know, it's not so beneficial for you. You would rather have them killed to take the arrows back than send them flying down in order to search your arrows back, which is ridiculous. It takes a lot of time. Yes, we got the slime. Very good. Pick him up the meat. Okay, good. We're in good shape overall. There's nothing else so much interesting right now. I like also the way the game is designed. They didn't they didn't do a lot of work in this department. I mean the the game is obviously beautiful, right? I like the way it looks. But it's not so different, the what we encounter. Even as you descend deeper and deeper, it doesn't change all that dramatically. And uh, it left them a lot of time to work on other things, I think. That's how I feel at least. I mean, I could care less the way the game looks. Now, my problems with the game is the way it operates. I would like if there would be less puzzles and more actual combat. Although, that, that's not that they're little combat, these puzzles, they just get on my nerves. That's just me, I guess. I mean, you could expect to have puzzles in a dungeon crawler game. 
gosh, do I hate them. I remember the first time I tried to play a puzzle, puzzle game, an adventure game. Oh, it took a while. It took a lot of time. That's fallen check what's down. I played a while, and we were playing with a friend, and we just... We finished the game two years after we started. Let's go ahead and mark it as a fall. Let's write a fall. Good, we're good. So we don't... So we don't lose a sense of what's happening around. And yes, we kept playing the game. There were a lot of puzzles, different things. The game was called, I think, the Soul of the Stolen Souls. Uh, Soul of the Stolen... The Ship of the Stolen Souls. Of the Stolen Souls. And... Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. The, the game quality wasn't so outstanding. I was younger again and, you know, I didn't care back at the time. But it took so much freaking time to... I actually want to give this pants here. Because they give attack power. I don't really Bobby, care Bobby, to have so much attack power here. Bobby, okay, Bobby, so... Bobby, so yeah, and it took, it took so much freaking time to beat. We spent like two years trying to beat the stupid game and... It wasn't so enjoyable. After all. Okay. Very good. Heal my sight. And good. We're so far so good. We're gonna stop at this point. I thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe in order to get notified when new content becomes available and in order to support my work. Stay tuned for more content and have a great day.